Hi Aries and welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your January, mid-January 2017 reading. I'm going to do a work reading or career reading and a love general life reading. To start off with the work reading, I use the Gateway to the Divine Tarot and you receive the Three of Coins. Doesn't surprise me. Somebody who's very hard at work, somebody who feels almost like they're so tied to their work or that they'd like to break away and get out of work for a little while and take a break. Got the Wheel of Fortune on your mind, wondering where things are going to go, how things are going to turn out, wanting to kind of start a new path. You've got a little bit of energy to say, you know what, maybe I need to open up another area in my work life. You know, start, put an application in somewhere else, maybe in the same business. Ask my boss for more tasks. Um, in the recent past, you received the Nine of Cups that said, yes, you were doing very well. Your cups were flowing over. And in the near future, you've got the Faith card. So having a lot of faith in what you're doing. You have the ability to decide if you could even celebrate something that you've come up with, an idea, an opportunity, a request for a raise, etc., etc. Well, somebody's going to work with you because the person around you wants to open a new path for you. So that's exciting. You're hoping that you can leave kind of this dusty, dirt, dingy little used up space you've been in and move over to a much nicer, uh, fancier atmosphere at work. Well, you've got the Knight of Wands as your outcome card, so that's saying that you're charging in, you're on fire, you're ready to rock and roll in January 2017. Yes, there'll be some choices to make. Don't be too much like the Knight of Swords coming in and kind of starting to direct how things could be. If you get a little power, remember it's all about give and take. That's how you made the money in the first place, is how well you work with others. If you continue on the path you're doing, you will receive the Ten of Cups, the happily ever after, peace, joy, and contentment, and lots of love card. So, work looks fantastic. All right, moving over to the general and love life area. I use the Romance Angel Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue in the current card representing right now along your path or in the very near future or past, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations will help bring you together. So maybe you're thinking about somebody, wondering if that's going to go anywhere, wondering if you could maybe start a new path with someone. The fool means all options are open, but it also could be a warning saying not to jump too quick or early. What's crossing that card is the romantic feelings card. Your feelings are worth exploring, and you're kind of going, well, are they or aren't they? Do I pick this path at work or that path at work? Do I pick this person or that person? <clears throat> so some of you might just kind of be wondering about stuff like that. Your thoughts are on open your heart to give and receive the highest love of all. So you want to offer love. You want to be in love. You might be a little dreamy and fantasy. You might be looking at some options if you're single wondering, hey, you know, what's out there for me this year? Well, your foundation is saying that this is a time where you are learning to forgive as you release and heal the past, you'll experience more love in your present, as long as you're not dragging anything with you and being too intense about love. Also, you may be thinking about someone from your recent past who was is a Libra, Virgo, no, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Ironically, that's the person that was in your past that you uh, felt a magnetic attraction with was a Virgo, Libra. Or a, a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So moving forward, I think I just get mixed up because you're moving forward with this Gemini. You had this chemistry in the past. You're trying to figure out and learn from an experience you may have had when you've been up in your head with thoughts, wondering if it's safe to love this person, can't make up your mind, wondering if now is even a good time to call in a soulmate and start a new path. Moving into the near future, you have the engagement card. Does not always mean engagement, may mean a new relationship. Either way, um, there may be a battle and then a picking up and re-engaging in a relationship or moving on to another relationship and people not liking that. You may be feeling down. Like the cards are saying you deserve love, 
but you're feeling down on yourself with all of these painful memories and thoughts. So remember from mid-January to the end of January to know that, well, to basically keep your heart open. Don't make any decisions. Stay really focused on your work for now. There's a lot of things that need to be done in that area and your mind and energy is just not really going anywhere. I think to make no movement at this point in time is the best idea. Yes, there's somebody around you who is thinking that there are some love steps they are wanting to make in your direction. They're feeling like there could be a very happy gathering and lots of love together. But for some reason, your cards are saying, stay focused and have faith at what you're doing at work and climb in your own success at this time. You may be thinking that you're trying to rush the situation and the angels are saying to let control of the situation go. To let it unfold uh, naturally and to, like the Eight of Swords, not feel like you're trapped. You're not trapped. You're doing what you need to do every day. You're rolling along. You're taking care of what needs to be taken care of. You're not trapped in any situation. Nothing's happening. Let everything sit because your outcome card says, let your friends help you. Maybe you want to go talk to some friends or somebody about something. Maybe you do find out about something that makes you really sad. Maybe there's nothing you can do about it and you're feeling unlovable. Maybe somebody else got an engagement and kind of walked away, left you hanging on to uh, stuff, and you're wanting to do something about the situation and you're feeling stuck. That could be true for some of you. That's why I'm saying... Um, Aries, don't be the one who leads into these swords. Stand back and observe and offer love and be nice and go to work and stay focused on your job and see what you can do to advance there since that's where all the positive energies are. And as far as moving in any direction, yes, the overall card does say divine timings at work. This person could be worth waiting for, but divine timing is saying not right now. This is God's watch, and God's watch is saying, chill and be still, okay? I confirmed with the Dorian Virtue, Ace of Water, Dorian Virtue tarot card deck, and the first card was Ace of Water. This says falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, and enhanced intuition, maybe even a new home. Interesting. There may be a new path in love. Like I said, I don't really see any other cups at this time. So maybe there's just a connection that makes uh, you feel good that you met somebody and it just kind of makes you wonder. Again, don't make any moves or steps in any direction. Right now is a time for spiritual growth and enhanced intuition. So your intuition is going to be heightened. So just kind of observe. Know um, that you're getting the ego card, Archangel Jophiel, that again, that you are not trapped you may be overly focused on material things, and you may be having negative fear-based thoughts. So that's why, another reason, get back over in the work area and put your mind there. That'll show you what's going on, what you can accomplish. That'll make you stronger inside, and then you'll shine outside and become more attractive anyway. If you continue to follow the path of work and just focus on that only, it says... Mike, Archangel Michael with the world card, that there will be a job well done, that there will be joy, contentment, grat and gratitude, and a path toward enlightenment. Like I said, you could be celebrating something that work. That'll fill the empty, depressed space. You had the faith from mid to end of January or going to, and someone wants to offer you a new path. What does this say? A new path toward enlightenment. So even... I think as that area clears up and gets where it needs to be, then this area is going to clear up and get where it needs to be. Again, I ask to close your reading with three messages from your Angel's Tarot Oracle deck by uh, Dorian Virtue, and you received Angel Maya. She's reminding you that schooling, study, and education will help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time, and the angels are there to guide you and help you with the process. They're even saying, find out what you can. See if there's any courses you could take to advance your position. See what where you need to be with maybe a degree at work or something so that you can climb and make a little more money. The second card is Angel Serena. She's saying, I'm the angel of abundance. Well, here we go. You will receive the money that you need, and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. Well, we don't have to worry about that because this faith card is your near future card in the gateway to the divine career reading. 
Final card you received is Angel Rochelle or Raquel, and she is saying, as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. Need I say more? The guidance of your heart is through work. Let everything happen on God's timing with regards to your general life and love life. The work will spill over with good feelings and emotions, which will bring more positive energy and prosperity will come and your heart will just automatically be guided by divine timing. All right, so enjoy the middle to end of January. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. I greatly appreciate those of you who have come to me for a reading so very much. Um, and I hope to hear from you again in February. Take care, Aries, and God bless.